Bait stations are a really important part of community conservation. Uh, they can contain poisons. I use them a lot for pre-feeding to attract critters, uh, for trapping operations and the likes. But there's some do's and don'ts with bait stations. Um, the first one is if you stick a bait station up here on a tree like that, um, you've got to be Sir Edmund Hillary to get in there. So make it easy for your pests. Your pests are efficient, or some might say lazy. They like it easy. Um, keep it down low, keep it out of the weather, um, on the sheltered side of the tree. You're wanting it to be about one hammer length up. Um, use a tech screw rather than a nail, because what you'll find is nails will smash this tab off. Everybody will have had problems with the tabs smashing off these. Using a tech screw allows you to take it out when the tree grows a wee bit um, and keep it out of the weather. Make sure that um, the rain can't get in. Same deal with servicing bait stations. Scuff the ground. Use your blazer flower. Um, make it interesting. Don't put flour on your bait station. It will go all mouldy and black. It's actually important that it stays white. It's a visual cue that a possum uh, can see from some distance away. And then the smell of this, again, increases the inquisitiveness of the pest and reduces the caution. So um, blaze away, throw a few handfuls of flour around on a wet day or a dewy morning. It'll stick to the vegetation. Um, that all just helps to get critters cued on to what you're trying to do here. Um, but if you've got non-targets, obviously you've got to be careful. Uh, Weckers and the likes, but where we are working, um, we're looking at about um, one hammer link so a juvenile or an adult possum can get up there and rats can climb in there relatively easy. Uh, full, of, full of whatever you're going to use, pre-feed. Uh, and maybe you could use this for possum nightclubs. 